slammed once again by trade concerns. The Nasdaq composite down nearly 3% at the worst of the selling before pairing some of those losses. Melissa Armo of StockSwoosh.com joins us now. Good morning, Melissa. Great to have you Good here. Morning. The big headline today, of course, GE, right? We're hearing that they're planning to spin off their healthcare business as well as shed ownership of Baker Hughes. This is a company just tossed out of the Dow, uh, really in big trouble here. What do you make of these headlines? I'm really not sure if this is going to save GE. As you just mentioned, they were just thrown out of the Dow. They've been part of the Dow forever almost, it seems. But the stock has been in such a huge drown trend for so long. They haven't been able to do anything to turn it around. They're trying to save money and cut costs wherever they can. So I guess selling this piece of it is probably only going to be the beginning. They're going to try to find, they're going to try to probably sell other pieces of their business as well. Unbelievable how quickly that company has come apart. I know. Let's move on to uh, other sell-offs, okay? <laughs> and that would be tech, the Nasdaq down 2% yesterday. You talk about unintended consequences of federal policy. It's all about uh, what we're talking about with, with trade, the big debate over trade. We saw uh, some of the big semiconductor makers, the chip stocks, down and down hard. NVIDIA, companies like that, Micron, Autodesk, Seagate. What do you make of this? Was this overdone yesterday? I don't think it was overdone. I think these stocks have been in strong uptrends. They've rallied nicely. NVIDIA is one of the strongest stocks in the market. Apple, too, that fell yesterday. You saw pretty much most of the S&P fell yesterday when the market opened down and quite down a lot. And we had a big sell-off yesterday. And that creates panic. Panic for everybody that's in mm. all of these big tech stocks long. And people are up. Just, you know, think about it. If you were long Apple, if you were long NVIDIA, if you were long any of these stocks, you're taking profits. So what's happening is people are worried. They're worried about all this news that comes out literally almost every two, three days about the tariffs, what's going to happen next. And I think Friday is going to be the next day to watch this week. Friday, there's going to be more information about what's really happening with the Chinese tariffs. Are we going to put well, more tariffs and restrictions on China? We'll know more by Friday, and that could create another, you know, another big move in the market. Look, Melissa, this isn't just worries. There's a real there there, right? I mean, the S&P 500 tech sector uh, gets more of its sales from overseas than any other sector. They are international companies absolutely yes, that's so correct. I mean what should tech investors be thinking right now do you stay or do you go do you sell these things or or, or should you stay stay stand pat it depends on your time horizon. If you're a long-term investor, there's nothing to worry about here. And I think overall, the policies of the Trump administration, what they're trying to do is make it more fair for U.S. corporations to compete in the overall broader market and for these companies like in China to stop stealing our technology and, our, and the trade secrets. So the problem is that Trump is doing all of these things for in the long run. It will help companies. But in the short term right now, you've seen these market reactions of the volatility that's created a sell-up. But in the long run, people should hold. If you're in positions temporarily, you may want to take some profits. It depends on your time horizon. Right. And now we've got investors uh, moving into what they think are safe harbor. Uh, let me tell you, the yield curve flat as a pancake right now. <laughs> Could portend bad news for the economy. Melissa, thank you so much for coming Thanks. in. Thanks for having me. Well, coming up, who is ready for more soccer? <laughs> Yeah, we are. Cristiano Ronaldo in Portugal survived a big scare from Iran. We're going to have all the updated scores from Russia and the World Cup coming up. And after being denied a big win last year, the Houston Rockets, James Harden, walks away with one of the NBA's top prizes. Taking a look at futures right now, well, the Dow is still down, but just by nine points. NASDAQ just turned positive two and three quarters. A lot of back and forth this morning with your futures. Uh, we shall see how we open at 930 Eastern time. You're watching FBN AM.